before y'all do anything make sure you hit that subscribe button make sure you like this video put the dolphin emoji let me know where y'all from and who you rockin' with let's go hey man don't get on no social media trolling like a nigga to be out man hey man Young Dolph Cousin got shot up at Lil Baby's concert last night and CMG was in the building, man. I told y'all, I told y'all, Black Youngster was gonna have some type of thing to retaliate about his little brother, man. You gotta understand that Moneybag Yo is clicked up with Lil Baby. CMG had backstage everything VIP for that. How is it that it's Young Dolph Cousin who's the one that gets hit up and Black Youngster Brother gets hit up last week? This is connected to the Young Dolph, man. You got to understand, they did this concert in Memphis. The Memphis is the most dangerous city in America. It's either that or St. Louis right now. And everybody knows that they should have never had that Lil Baby concert with all them people in like that, knowing that the security was not up to point, man. All them security guards, they didn't know what to do when they seen all them stars walking around. Dudes with chains everywhere. PRE chains over here, CMG chains over that. They knew they had a problem on their hands, man. Especially when they seen some of the people from the cookie shop backstage chilling with all the people, man. You got to understand that CMG is still clicked up with all these other people. And so when they brought the concert into Memphis, they knew that PRE was going to be at that concert. So they waited there. Until they could catch one of the dudes lacking, man. I want to send my condolences to Young Dolph, bro. R.P. to Dolph. I want to send a speedy recovery to his cousin, CEO Jizzle. That's who got hit up, man. This is a breaking news coming out of Memphis. Go ahead and hit the comment section. Put the Dolph emoji if you support and you rock it with Young Dolph. Let me know where y'all from also, man. Because the way this whole thing went down... The baby was on stage. Lil Baby was on stage, right? All the people was in the back. CEO Jizzle comes from the side and he goes back there. The security didn't even look. They was turned around. Once he walks by, a lot of the dudes, the hitters, they seen him. So they waited for him to come down the stairs right there by the front row concert growers. One of the dudes stood up on the table and he bop, bop, bop. That's when everybody went running everywhere. The whole crowd swarmed and everything. CEO Jizzle was on the ground. He was limping. He was trying to get out. His partners and everything was trying to get him on the shoulders and everything. Carry him like an injured football player. The dudes who busted, they ran away quick because they knew 12 was just right around the corner, man. MPD was outside, but they wasn't on the inside paying attention close enough to see the dude that had got hit up, man. You got to understand that. It's going to be somebody that's going to be lurking, trying to do something, especially at a concert in Memphis. I've been trying to warn y'all for so, so long right now at these concerts, telling you that the crowd that these concerts be bringing around is the wrong type of people to be hanging around and partying with. Because when they get too lit, when they get too turnt, they see an op, they see someone they don't like. They're trying to impress their friends out there. They're trying to flex with money. They're trying to impress these females and everything like that. So when things hit the fan... Of course, it's going to be dudes blowing at that whole concert and everything. This is why they've been canceling a lot of Money Bag Yo's concerts. They canceled the show in Detroit. So if they canceled the show in Detroit, why would they do it in Memphis? They try to get Lil Baby to be the act. And Lil Baby, he also in on his own thing. They about to be going after him too because Lil Baby been doing a whole lot of other stuff too. And that's on a side note, but... Back to the Young Dolph connections with this whole entire thing. CEO Jizzle is Young Dolph's cousin. So out of all the people that got it, that could have got hit up, why did they pick to target him? It's because this had to have been a retaliatory act. If you really look at everything and how it is, you know that people in the hood always retaliate and try to get your people hit up, man. Especially if they can't get the main person who did it, they're going to go after the cousins, they're going to go after the aunties and uncles and everything like that. So what everybody got to understand is that this is not a coincidence that CEO Jizzle, who's direct blood cousins of Young Dolph, ends up getting hit up. They watched him that whole night, man. They knew he was going to go to that concert. They had some, some of the females tell him to meet him at the concert so he had a reason to be there, man. You see what I'm saying? A lot of people are getting set up these days by... Un, you know unverified people who's basically like you could be your neighbor it could be anybody over here somebody that's seen you at the store some of the workers at the places you be always going to and so that's why you got to watch out for everybody these days man if i was ceo jizzle i would have been up in there with two poles made sure security can't search me or nothing like that and would have been back when you were vip 
you have to go a different way than the whole entire crowd, man. Because they made sure that everybody had to come in one way so that they knew who had it on them and who didn't have it on them. That's why you cannot go to the concert if you a VIP person without being able to get the VIP treatment backstage and having your security with you. If you can't have a physical security guard with you with the blower, then you got to basically keep it on yourself as long as everything you're doing is legit and by the book. That's why we don't condone anything other than that, man. And so... But with that being said, Young Dolph Cousin could have prevented a lot of stuff from happening if he would have just made sure to straighten up on his own protection because he can't wait for another dude, the security guard, to be doing it for him. That's why you got to keep your head on a swivel so you could get the drop on the people who's trying to lurk and creep up on you and you already see things coming. You get the stomach drop, you're going to get that weird vibes from people. The aura is not right. The energy in the room is wrong. So that's when you peep the scene and you either make the move first or you got to get out of there. And this is exactly what the mistakes that CEO Jizzle made inside that concert because you got to understand, they was already ready to set up somebody from PRE. They wanted to take somebody out from PRE. Luckily, CEO CEO Jizzle is going to make a quick recovery from this, man, and we're praying for a speedy recovery because at the end of the day, this could have been a lot worse, y'all. This could have went down like all them other times. Do you remember when the people jumped up in Mississippi at Yo Gotti's concert and they sprayed the MAC-10 everywhere, man? You got to understand that this has been happening to these CMG artists, to these uh, little babies' uh, uh, parties and the concerts and everything like that. It's been happening a lot. And so this is why even Finesse two times at his concerts, dudes was running up in his private tent where they be at like their backstage dressing room and they try to run up on there and take the chains and everything like that and so this is the reason why when ceo jizzle was in there with the big pre chain that he got from young dolph y'all gotta remember young dolph left most of his jewelry collection to the pre artist that was still on his label man over six million dollars worth of cuban links and pendants that says pre on them with emerald cut diamonds and baguettes so when they seen ceo jizzle young dolph cousin wearing young dolph's actual chain that he got from him that chain was worth eight hundred thousand dollars man eight hundred thousand dollar chain then the hitters from cmg seen him and they know that they already who, how do you know that people don't have money on their head from the Black Youngster Brother situation? You remember what Black Youngster Brother said. He said he's coming from for anyone and anybody. And he doesn't care what happens from the whole retaliatory or from the whole consequences of his actions and everything like that. So what y'all got to understand is they probably looking for Black Youngster right now, man. They probably looking for Black Youngster right now. I told y'all, I told y'all. He made a bad mistake by putting that post out there saying that he was going to crash out and he was going to slide and get revenge and try to drop the opposition for doing that to his little brother. And so now when something actually pop off, guess where the feds are going to go to first? They're going to go right to Black Youngster and say, hey, what was all that about when you said you was going to do this and that? And then now it actually happens. Exactly. So they're going to be actually looking at him as a person of interest. Plus, they're going to be looking at all the CMG dudes because who else would it have been to want Young Dolph Cousin to be the one that got hit up? His special interest in this. And so if it would have been a random person, if it would have been a random concert goer, it would have been completely different because it might not have looked like it was related to the beef from Young Dolph and Yo Gotti and, and CMG and PRE or Black Youngster and everybody, the whole world, right? And so, but because it was Young Dolph cousin that got hit up, then they have to look at, was it Black Youngster versus the world or was it Yo Gotti versus PRE? Which one of these makes more sense in this whole entire thing? I want y'all to comment down below and let me know what y'all think about this whole entire thing. And let me know, do you think Young Dolph got set up? Because a lot of people think Young Dolph got set up. And do you think CEO Jizzle got set up at this concert? Did they set this concert up knowing that the PRE guys was going to come there? And that they was going to plan to do something. Let me know in the comments because everything is a legend and for entertainment purposes. And you should subscribe for all the updates.